thank you all for jumping in with us today. Um, as a short introduction for myself, I just wanted to um, thank you all for participating with us. This is something that we've all uh, wanted to do for quite some time. My name is Conlon McDonough. I work for Rhino Networks. Um, you also see a few other individuals that we'll get to here in a second. Uh, but the moral of the story is that we are all based out of uh, the Southeast in terms of at least covering it. I myself am actually based out of uh, St. Louis, Missouri. So I know that Mizzou tries to claim that we are in the Southeast, but I know that we're very much central in the world. And so I think that I just wanted to thank you guys and sort of present to you um, Elevate Security in the Southeast. And this is something that um, I really appreciate you all jumping on on. Uh, just a short background about Rhino Networks in case uh, you haven't worked with us in the past. Uh, Rhino Networks actually got started out in 2013, uh, but prior to that, we were actually an MSP like uh, many of you have seen in the past or maybe today. And the Rhino himself, we all consider ourselves Rhinos, but the Rhino himself actually fell in, Todd Carriker fell in love um, with Meraki so much that he decided to move his business fully um, with that Cisco product, but also at the same time, and today is where we're here today, is he fell in love with the same uh, security aspect, whether it's Duo, whether it's Umbrella, or any other security offerings that uh, Cisco provides. And this is something that we wanted to share with you today if you don't have too much knowledge in. I know we have a great crew of individuals that will be able to pass along a lot of healthy information to you. And at the end of the day, if it seems like it works for you, I'd be happy to communicate with you back and forth on more. Uh, but that is kind of the excitement about this, is that all these individuals that you see on this screen here are all going to be your security specialists as you move forward. So we have Jeff Owens with Cisco Duo, we have Shelby Campbell with Cisco Duo, Duo and Matt Gillespie uh, with Cisco Umbrella. Of course, myself, um, I work with all three of them, but at the same time, they are the specialists. When you have those questions in regards to uh, cybersecurity, these are the three that I turn, through, uh, turn to. In any way possible, um, there's a lot of wealth of information that these three have gained over their time at Cisco, and I think uh, we're all happy to share our experiences with you, share some customer stories with you, and of course, give you an introduction to uh, Cisco Duo and potentially uh, Cisco Umbrella if you haven't heard of them in the past. I know that zero trust is a big term out there, and MFA uh, being that sort of requirement that is um, pushed along through all of us these days, but at the same time, we want to show you some real-world use cases and how to apply those and how they may be similar to situations that you've passed through today, or maybe it's something that you could possibly learn. But I know at the end of the session, we'll all be available for questions. I know every time I get off of a phone call, I always have more questions, so we will have our contact information up there for you as well. But rather than you guys just listening to me speak this whole time, I'm not the specialist. I am just somebody that tries to act like they know enough, but I did want to just kick it off and pass it along to uh, Jeff Owens, who will kick us uh, started with Cisco Duo. Perfect. Much appreciated, Colin. Hi, everybody. My name's Jeff Owens, um, Duo rep here at Cisco. Just so you know, my, my coverage of the territory is the Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama section of that Southeast. So I'll be your go-to guy if any of you are located out of there. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do, talk to you a little bit, just a little bit about what Duo is, kind of what, what our vision is, and you know, from there we can kind of take it into a customer story. But you know, what, what we are is we're at our core an adaptive MFA solution, and we work into zero trust. So if you want to go to the next slide, Colin, I'll kind of explain that a little bit more. So what I mean by zero trust um, is, is what is what Duo is going to really be our bread and butter. So this is our groundwork. This is our vision. What we do is we make sure the user is who they say they are and that the device that they're using is secure. All of that before they're getting anybody's getting any access to any of your networks, any of your applications, just so you're not having any bad actors get the keys of the kingdom. We're really making sure that. You know, we're, we're not going to trust any of these, any credentials unless they're going to have be backed up by that MFA to really start that first level of the zero trust journey, which is probably a buzzword that you guys have been hearing across the industry. Um, but but, but that, that's really what we are at our core um, at Duo is that, that first layer, that starting point of, of zero trust and cybersecurity network. So from there, hit the next slide, please. I'm sure you are all are already aware of this, um, but but everything's changing in our world from cloud based applications intertwined with on prem applications from remote workers accessing certain applications, oftentimes from personal devices, you know, whether they're in office in a coffee shop at home. 
IT is no longer at the office. So we're seeing attackers, bad actors try to come in from every different angle. So that first line of defense is really going to be living and breathing in that username's credentials. And that's how Duo is going to protect is by having that layer of MFA in front of that to make a secure access and secure entry into those applications, into those networks. So no matter where your users are logging in from, they're still going to be protected by Duo and your organization won't have to worry about stolen credentials on that front. So next slide, please. Stat that we always like to show, just to really show the, the, the big picture of how important it is to have something in place to, to secure that access is that 81% of breaches leverage either stolen or weak passwords. That, that's a staggering stat. You're, you're, we're seeing across the all multiple industries, different organizations getting fished, you know, getting ransomware to come in. And all of that could be prevented by having that simple secure access solution in place. So this is always just a staggering number to really show how big of an impact this could have on not only your organization, but just in terms of, you know, cybersecurity in general. Next slide, please. So Duo is going to offer multiple authentication options. Um, obviously, our most and biggest and you know brightest one is the Duo Push. But from here, as you can see on this slide, we, we, we offer whether it's a soft token, text messages, phone calls. So whatever your users want, whatever you think is the best level of protection, Duo is going to help you on that journey to make sure, hey, we're going to make sure you're going to cross the line of, you know, having end user happiness and security. We're really going to thread that needle for you. So you're going to be able to say, hey, you know, we, we have XYZ who doesn't have a smartphone, so we can shoot them a text message. We're going to be agile and help be able to be with you on that security journey to help you scale, to help you make sure that you're every, having everything as secure as possible in the methods that you want. So just the user option is, is very, very diverse on that front. Next slide, please. So this is just scratching the surface, you know, of what, what Duo can do. A lot of times people think of Duo as just, you know, a, a basic MFA that we're going to be able to put on, you know, a Windows logon. But th th that's not the case. We work with everything across the board that, that you're going to be able to basically have a login in from VPNs, cloud applications, you know, Microsoft environments, you name it, um, du Duo can help protect it. And if nothing, if it's something, if you have something that's not on this list, we still have other named integrations. We have other types of integrations to where we can get that in. But Duo puts that all together in one interface for the user. So you have a lot of these companies and organizations that have their own MFAs built in, or they offer their side MFAs that are great for just that. But once you put Duo across everything, you're really going to have that one end user experience. You're going to have that one access point, that one admin panel to where you're managing everything. So it really makes it super easy to use and just very easy to implement across the board because it's going to be known. It's going to be friendly. It's going to be easy to use. Next slide, please. Lastly, you know, we're, we're not just MFA. That, that, that's the, the first base level of, of what Duo can do. Um, we're we're going to give you also complete visibility into every device that touches your network, that touches your applications. We're not only going to give you visibility into those devices, we're also going to give you the ability to posture those devices. So whether it's making sure they're up to date to your security standards, whether, you know, they have a screen lock in force to really get granular policies to make sure that those devices are clean. So you don't have any jailbroken phones or you don't have any you know, personal devices that could be accessing applications that they shouldn't. You're gonna really get full control over who's going into what, what the health of those devices are, and just give that control back to your organization on what the security of the logins are really looking like. So with that being said, that that's just the quick that, overview of Duo, what we who we are, what we do. So I'm going to pass this over to Shelby, who's going to run through just a quick customer customer win that she had recently. Awesome, thanks, Jeff. Hey, everybody, I'm Shelby Campbell. Um, like they like they said, um, I've been with Duo Cisco for about four years in the fall now, um, and I cover the Georgia and Tennessee portion of the Southeast here. Um, but yeah, so really awesome to, to join you guys today, and and really everything that Jeff said. I feel like uh, this customer story that we have with American Bath Group, it was just 
every bit of all the little details that Jeff said, this customer really just like got to take advantage of all of it. Um, they came to us when they really were just looking to harden security in general. Um, they had a whole lot of different brands and uh, different companies and doing a lot of acquisitions and things like that. So they're growing really, really fast. They had a lot of complexity in their environment, um, a lot of things that they couldn't see, going back to, you know, Jeff's point of the visibility portion, um, and just were really looking to streamline it all and figure out how to get it done pretty quickly as well. Um, and so one of the cool things about American Bath Group is they came and obviously, you know, they, they were looking to protect quite a few people all over the U.S., overseas, um, with lots of different moving parts, like I said, and looking to do it. And they did it in about 20 days. So this is something that, you know, going back to the simplicity of it all, you know, doing something like that, the the important thing here is the speed to security. And that's something that, that Duo is so big on, right? And making it easy for not just the users and, and, and enrolling to that many people, but also for the management portion of it, right? Um, we want it to be easy on every side of it. And, you know, from that point too, it's with that many people and so many things that they were doing, productivity couldn't be interrupted. That was something that they could not, um, you know, take a chance and the risk on. So the fact that we were able to, you know, protect them so quickly, protect them in uh, not just, you know, their environment overall with just all the different devices, hybrid work, um, but also just hybrid on-prem, off-prem, like different, you know, cloud environment, everything that they had um, was able to just easily implement with Duo. They also, because of all the different people that they had coming on, they really wanted to continue a BYOD environment. Um, that's something that, like Jeff said, because of the the new nature of our business and the IT perimeters everywhere now, it's it's a lot of people have to use their personal devices, right? And so, how do we help companies protect that? They were a huge a huge example of how we we're able to do that, um, and, and leveraging a lot of things that people can have on our Duo platform today. So. Really awesome story. They're just one example. Really, here is another thing to point out is obviously this is a this is a bigger customer, but you know with Duo, the cool thing is, is it doesn't matter if you have 20 people or 20,000 people. The speed of security is there, productivity is uninterrupted, um, and it's and it's we we want to take care of it and, and make it easy for you guys. So, looking uh, looking forward to to working with anybody else on this. If you have more questions about it, let us know. Um, and from there, just thanks for letting us hop on and join you. All right. Thank you, Shelby. Uh, continuing on with the cloud security story. Um, so I am the dedicated umbrella specialist for the Southeast. Um, now, when it comes to everything cloud security, in addition to Duo and MFA, something that kind of goes hand in hand or in tandem that plays well together and also, you know, a value add uh, layer of security on top of Duo and MFA, which I think are uh, both equally uh, necessary is Cisco Umbrella or DNS security. So if you kind of go into my next slide, I'll begin by prefacing, I think, how we got here and what's changed to allow or uh, uh, reveal something like DNS, uh, which is web traffic. You know, I'm not sure for, for how many folks out there, how, how many of you are familiar with DNS or not, but I, I can give a good, at least high level um, description and leading into protecting the web traffic layer, for example. So that's kind of where DNS sits. Now, I think why this is important, as we're kind of looking at this slide here uh, to provide some context, same with Duo, we're, we have more hybrid workers, people are working re remote, our infrastructure has probably changed forever. A lot of people are moving to the cloud uh, historically and, and rapidly as well. So this rapid shift to the cloud has changed everything in terms of network infrastructure and also uncovered potential areas uh, or gaps that were left open for holes for attackers to uh, latch onto and, and utilize as successful um, threat vectors. So we're needing to protect these users wherever they are, whatever uh, data they are accessing um, on the internet and get that control and visibility uh, and security. So if you kind of go to my, my next slide here, um, this rapid shift to the cloud has definitely escalated things. And these attackers aren't, you know, just waiting by. The new approach is needed. The threat landscape is ever evolving. And DNS is something that these attackers have latched onto. Uh, in fact, with numerous, you know, I guess, methods of research by Cisco, we researched and found that 90% of malware utilizes DNS in some shape or fashion to perform successful attacks. And not just us. You know, I, I looked at and I saw uh, Palo Alto had some research, and I think they noted 81% of malware utilizes DNS in the same fashion. And Infoblox, I believe, said 91%. So the story here is DNS is here and here to stay in terms of attackers and malicious requests 
uh, trying to get into the network and being utilized as something that is important, but something historically with this rapid shift that we previously haven't uh, realized as something that it, it should be protected. And it's kind of been uncovered uh, throughout all of this and, and been exploited uh, throughout this change as well. Um, so if you kind of go into my next slide, a new reality uh, is needed in terms of our infrastructure. You know, our, our networking is moving to the cloud. So it's cloud security, all of our data, our apps, um, all of this has changed and kind of needing that additional layer of security or the quote unquote defense in depth approach, you know, the industry best standards and practices that they say in the layered approach uh, to security. Um, so needing, needing something else uh, in terms of that security stack that's very value add and simple and effective as well. Um, so if you go into my next slide, I'll kind of put some background, at least into what I hear from people, uh, what they're looking for and why they come, come to umbrella and the value add there. So I think first and foremost is security, first and foremost. What people are looking for is to uh, protect against the malware, the ransomware, the phishing attacks, command and control callbacks and this data exfiltration uh, so needing that layer of security, um, that's something, you know, similar to Duo, that's speed to security, as we call it, or easy to deploy and manage um, in terms of just pr protecting the cloud and all of this, uh, this data and our information or where users are going or what is trying to get in, uh, which kind of leads into my next point there of gaps in visibility and coverage that I mentioned. You know, a lot of people come to me and say that they have no idea what's happening in the network. They can't see where their users are going. If they leave the network, God forbid, they have no idea. A customer told me once that it's the wild, wild west uh, of the internet. So needing something that extends that protection off network uh, as well is a huge value add and use case uh, when it comes to umbrella, what umbrella can provide to get a, such a deeper level of security, control, visibility, uh, and access from a web traffic perspective, wherever these users are you know, from a security side and content side as well, which everybody uses, you know, the content filtering aspects, but it's a security solution um, first and foremost. Um, so all that leading into at least what I usually hear, if you'll kind of move on to my next slide, uh, some of the main things that I hear people look for when it comes to this level of cloud security and umbrella, um, if you go to my next slide, of what umbrella exactly is and entails after kind of understanding, why well, I think, you know, how we got here how DNS has kind of been exploited, the importance of it, you know, and then doing something uh, about it. So when it comes to uh, Umbrella, Umbrella is that cloud delivered security solution that we call the quote unquote first line of defense, you know, which is why I like this visual because it kind of looks like that force field over the overall network. Um, so what it's actually doing is proactively blocking these malicious requests, the command and control callbacks and data exfiltration and phishing attacks and ransomware attacks uh, at the gate before that connection is even established per this visual, you know, all the way to any other point in your security stack or all the way down to the endpoint, uh, for example. So it kind of paired with our intelligence, it's analyzing and learning from internet activity patterns and automatically uncovering this attacker infrastructure for current and emerging threats, uh, again, and blocking this before that malicious request reaches uh, the endpoint or establishes a, a connection, which I know kind of varies per endpoint. I know some of them do some DNS, which I've heard, but the main thing to distinguish here is that this is stopping that before that even happens versus an endpoint utilizing DNS in sh some shape or fashion, uh, actually calling out and knocking at the door of the hacker uh, or the attacker, which, you know, confirms for them that the target was effective and sending that request all the way back down to the endpoint to then be deemed as malicious. And then, you know, they know that they got a hit on their attack at least and to keep trying and that they're getting somewhere. Um, so the whole goal is to get the visibility into the network, stop these malicious attacks earlier, uh, identify already infected devices faster um, and get that threat intelligence uh, behind it. That's the brain behind the hood. Uh, which allows us to block so much and see so much. And granted, on or off the corporate network as well, and extending that to our remote workers, uh, and on or off the VPN even. Um, if you go to my next slide, I won't spend too much here, but just to at least focus on uh, Umbrella does so much more than DNS. You know, just like Duo, it doesn't do just MFA. Uh, it's a DNS solution at the core, 
but a lot of folks are looking for what I call a, a suite of security solutions all in one of what Umbrella can offer along the lines of a secure web gateway, you know, secure internet gateway, SWG, you know, day loss prevention, you know, more things in terms of future proofing, uh, at least our options on top of just, you know, the strongest first line of defense that you can get. Um, and then talking to my next slide, something that plays very well, just like Duo, uh, also with Meraki. So this is a better together story. You know, Meraki does this some in some capacity, and it's not a bad thing about Meraki. Umbrella is expanding upon that aspect of Meraki and firewalls in general that they're trying to do at a limited capacity. So it's kind of a, a, a match made in the cloud, if you will, and expanding upon and getting so much more granular uh, in terms of that security and visibility and content control of what you know general firewalls are trying to do. Uh, you know, because they can only do so much. And I've actually had people come to Umbrella also to take that strain off their firewalls because it, it just can't handle that level of bandwidth of everything passing through there um, and allowing Umbrella to do its job and really expand upon what these firewalls are trying to do, but that's not their core function. You know, they have each have a core function, they're pieces of the puzzle, but equally uh, as important and supplement each other, uh, so to speak. Um, and then going to my next slide, similar story with Duo. I mean, um, in terms of how they play together and I think the importance, you know, once Duo makes sure the user is who they say they are, having something like Umbrella as the, you know, the second bouncer at the door, if you wish, uh, to make sure that those users are also going or not going to where they should or shouldn't be uh, in terms of applications or anywhere on the internet and, and from a security perspective uh, for malicious things um, as well. So there's definitely some synergies there and having them both play uh, at different pieces or layers of that um, security stack. Um, and going into my next slides uh, really quickly, I won't spend too much time on these. You know, if you um, slide to, to my next one, people always ask me, you know, DNS is important, similar to dual kind of being a, a mandate or cyber insurance. I'm hearing the same thing. You know, people have slowly come to me saying that it's actually becoming a requirement on uh, their cyber insurance, just as MFA has been. Or at least I've heard it kind of gone from a highly suggested to recommended to more of a checkbox as well. So, I mean, if third parties are saying that this is something that's important, you know, if you're not being proactive, then um, I think it's definitely something to look at. But in terms of DNS in general, I think it's important. But what Cisco does, I believe, similar to Duo, same story of having that speed to security, having something that's easy to deploy and manage. Uh, you know, you don't need to be in a million dashboards or feel like you're in a complex dashboard to manage manage all this. Um, so I think deployment uh, and ease of use are, are one of the some of the biggest things. And then you, if you'll lead into my my next slide. I always say or believe the number one thing in coming with Cisco and Umbrella is our intelligence, because this is the brain behind the hood uh, I was mentioning, which is our, our Talos intelligence. So if you're not familiar with Talos, uh, it powers and shares Intel with all of our Cisco security solutions, which is a team of threat researchers and AI, uh, and is actually the world's largest private threat intelligence org organization on the planet by sheer fact. Um, Technically, we're number two behind the NSA, but I would say that's not the worst thing. Um, but from a private standpoint, it's our intelligence. So much to where other intelligence databases get their intelligence from our intelligence. So we see more and block more than, than any other vendor in the world 20 times over and see about 600 billion DNS requests per day. So this is how we can really get that level of security uh, for our customers from the DNS layer again, proactively before anything ever happens um, that other solutions or layers of your security stack might not even, uh, might not even catch. Um, so that would, would be the biggest benefit and value, I think, in Cisco security in general uh, and Umbrella. Um, and I'll wrap up with my, my last slide here. I could talk all day, you know, DNS is important. Um, the value behind Cisco and our intelligence that powers us all, but um, kind of leaving it to other third party reports that give us and put us to the test compared to others or just in general about our security efficacy and being number one uh, in, in our efficacy report, um, stacking up against the others and, and kind of where we where, where we land on that. So uh, there's plenty of, you know, 
other information outside of me that could talk all day about uh, the value. I think, again, behind DNS in general, but then why Cisco for DNS? Um, so definitely some things to think about and, and getting ahead of the curve. Um, if this isn't something that you're already evaluating or have even heard on your cyber insurance, um, definitely something that you can be proactive on. Well, thanks so much, Matt, Jeff, and Shelby. Um, like I said, this is a lot of information to take in in uh, 30 minutes, but the moral of the story is that I wanted to, and we wanted to present you guys with the opportunity to just meet your security specialists, meet with um, the individuals that are here to help you at any time. That's our mo favorite thing to do, honestly, is to try to figure out what solution works best for you. And personally, we at Rhino, of course, use all, or excuse me, both of these. Uh, but I hope that you guys just found a little bit of interest here, got to meet uh, the individuals here. But I wanted to open it up to any questions that may be out there um, from you guys and if there's anything else that you had interest in or wanted to touch base on. So the first, first thing I see here, um, so in terms of installation time, uh, would either of you just mind just jumping in for a second, just seeing like how long it really takes to get Duo and or Umbrella set up? Yeah, I can uh, at least chat real quick and in terms of Umbrella. Again, speed to security, having something that's easy to deploy and manage, like I mentioned, uh, being able to deploy to an entire enterprise in 30 minutes, for example. So we can get, I mean, for, for context, I've deployed Umbrella to my own home network. And I'm, I'm an Umbrella specialist, but I'm not an engineer, I'll say. I will give my, myself credit, but I set it up in about 30 minutes for my home network. Um, so definitely something that's easy uh, and gives you default protection against the malware and ransomware, et cetera. Um, and another quick story for context, uh, there's a story that we deployed to a customer uh, with 10,000 locations in a two hour window. So scalability, you know, enterprise grade security for small business, um, definitely, definitely uh, easy and quick there from the umbrella perspective. Yeah, and, and, and it's very similar on the duo side, you know, we, we, we can get you up and running, you know, basically within a week. <laughs> I mean, it's ultimately with duo it depends on how quickly you want to get it up. You know, if you want to get everyone enrolled in a day, we, we can work with you on that. Um, and also a great thing is we also let you run trials. So a lot of the times we'll, we'll have a customer run a trial, you know, get, they'll get all their integrations set up, get ready to go. And then on their go live date, they don't have to redo anything. It's all set up, ready to go day one and roll it to all and push it out to all their users. Super quick, super easy. And, and we're, we're with you step-by-step step throughout the process as well. That that's, you know, Matt was saying speed to security on the umbrella side. That's, we mirror that on the duo. So we're, we're in the same exact boat on how easy and speedy it is to get up. Thank you both. And I think that answers the other question that uh, was out there which with trials. I know that Matt uh, Umbrella does trials as well. Um, but from that standpoint, um, just wanted to thank you all for jumping in, uh, spending some time with us today. Uh, Matt, Shelby, Jeff, thank you all for your help as well. And like I said from the beginning, if you guys need anything at all, these are our email addresses, but I'm happy to pass along my direct phone line as well. And I know these all these individuals as well would be happy to speak with you at any time. But I hope you all have a fantastic Wednesday and um, stay safe and secure. I wish you guys all the best. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Bye, y'all.